Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about defect tracking in HP Quality Center. In the previous sessions, we talked about requirements, test planning, test execution. In this session, this is for defect tracking. Defect tracking is also known as bug tracking. If you want to add a new bug, you can go here, go to the defects tab, click new defect. Then it shows you the screen. This is a summary. This is like a if something has failed, you can enter one line description over here. Now I can say uh, application accepts uh, user registration but does not send email. Now you can choose by default this is the logged in username. Now you can say what is the severity. You can set low, medium, high, very high, urgent. Now I say it's a medium. Again, what is medium, what is high depends upon your company's policies. Now I say the priority to fix this bug is very high, is high. Reproducible yes or no means whether you are able to consistently get this error again and again. If the bug happens at some times, it doesn't happen at some other time, you can say reproducible no. Now subject means you need to go choose the folder of the requirements. It's not the test case. I say this is something to do with registration. So I say registration related bug. So it is basically grouping the defects. Now you can say to whom you want to assign. I can say this is assigned to Abdul for fixing. Currently the status is new. Now you have to give the description. Companies use this description for steps to reproduce. Okay. Uh, register a user user XYZ for first time app will accept registration but email will not be sent. So you can give detailed information also. So how much information you provide over here in a clear way it will help the development team to fix that particular bug. If you want to have any attachments or a screenshot, you can do that using attach file also. Now I click submit. This bug is done. So the bug is given over here. Same way you can customize the columns right here. Right now, all the details are displayed. Now I don't want all the details. Move everything over here. All I want is defect ID, description, detected by, then priority, is it reproducible? Severity and status. You can select uh, multiple columns. Move here and then click OK. Now the entire grid changes. So you can resize, rearrange the columns, everything you can do. So this is your description. And there's a history. Right now, since we logged in as new, this is right now these three fields have been tracked for the changes. Now I have entered this bug as Ramu. Now the status is new. Now Ramu logs out. It has been assigned to Abdul. Abdul goes to the application. Abdul goes to the defect page. This person will change the status. Okay, Let us try to change the status. So Abdul goes to the defects screen. All I am showing is just for one defect. When multiple testers are working, you will see multiple things coming over here. Again, each time the settings of the columns is based on the users. So each time each user logs in, they have to set their uh, screen settings or the grid settings separately. Then only it will appear the way they want. One user's changes will not affect all the other users. Now, Abdul goes here. He double clicks on this one, okay. He can change this priority, it, it allows. But what Abdul wants to do is, he wants to provide details for this, okay. Now I, he clicks defect details, okay. It shows a bigger window. Abdul enters the comment, uh, I have fixed this uh, issue. This is due to proxy settings, something like that. So he enters some details. 
and then he changes the status since it is initially new this person changes the status from new to say fixed okay it says you do not have the required permission to execute this action but he tries to change because if you see here there's a new open fixed close directly it doesn't go from new to fixed someone has to open this bug though abdul has entered some details it doesn't allow him to change the status so what should happen is usually the bug has to be opened then it has to go to fixed then it has to go to closed so abdul logs out okay now ideally the project manager usually arjun is the project manager that person based upon the triage meetings that person will change the status of the bug from new to open so usually new open fixed closed that will be the standard procedure for most of the defect tracking system again the status codes can be changed depending upon the company policies and the client policies now arjun changes the status from new to open this time it doesn't have any problem it is finished now arjun logs out abdul gets in because he is the developer he has to fix that authenticate login abdul can update other details but the status has to go through a specific cycle this is called the bug life cycle okay now abdul goes here provides the comments as fixed this is due to proxy now he changes the status from open to fixed this time it did not stop him okay now he says actual fixed time it is almost like uh, two hours i you i spent to fix this problem okay estimated fixed time it will be given by arjun or the project manager now abdul fix this now since it is fixed someone has to come back and then check whether it has been retested or not right now let us say the next build in the subsequent build ramu as a tester logs in he executes this particular test once again then he says hey this defect is fixed so since it is fixed let me retest it after retesting if it works fine great so ramu will say now i want to add a comment it will click on add comment then ramu enters i retested and it works now he will change the status from fixed to closed if it doesn't work he will say rejected or reopen okay usually reopen if, if it is not a bug people will say rejected but now ramu retested it and it works he changed it to closed then closing date he says today's date okay now details have changed now the important thing in your bug tracking system is the history of the bug if you see here first change the changer was ramu it was in new status the change to is from status open new to open it has moved from new to open and this is done by changer is arjun it was done at this time change 3 is status for open to fixed this is done by abdul change 4 is changes fixed to close this is done by ramu at each point of time what is the change that has happened who changed it from what value to what value it changed so the complete history has been tracked in bug tracking i showed how to add a new defect how developers testers project managers change the status reassign provide the comments this is for one bug If there are multiple testers you will see this grid getting filled up with hundreds of bugs each bug will go through these changes from new to all the way closed at some point of time if it is not a bug people will say they will say rejected the bug will not be accepted by the development team it will be rejected so we stop this session here in this session we learned about how to add a new defect how different roles of the project people will work to change the status from new to close and then provide comments provide details and uh, this is for one bug when multiple people work the same thing will be repeated for all the bugs thank you